What's good everyone, Gberg Stacks here. So today we will be talking about Conqueror. We got the same agenda, the same, you know, formula going through. We're going to talk about the patch history, where Conqueror started. Then we're going to go into where Conqueror is now. Then we're going to talk about the the champions that end up taking Conquer and why they take it. You know, we're going to dabble a little bit into that. Then we're going to go into how Conquer works inside of the game, right? Like, uh, is there any special interactions, which there pretty much isn't. So that's going to be uh, relatively quick. But then we're going to speak about why I believe Conquer is going to be stronger in the new season and, you know, post 14.19 or during 14.19 and you know a, a couple you know in that direction type stuff right and then we're finally gonna do we don't really do an outro but you know we'll just separate that so you don't have to go through that if you don't if you don't care right so without further ado let's get right into it also you can see my dog's balls over there a little funny tidbit he doesn't usually sleep on my bed but there he goes and let's get right into it right so Conquer was added in 8.6, which is obviously something you're already seeing, which is a little weird because if you look at uh, stuff like Glacial Augment, stuff like even Lethal Temple, a lot of the new keystones were added in Season 8, right at the beginning, pre-Season 8, 7.23. But because like fighters in general lost Battle of Fervor, uh, there was a big outcry, even ADCs, I believe, but ADCs got Lethal Temple, and so it was divided by people saying, okay, we're fine, Lethal Temple, and then, you know, people who really like Bruisers, they're like, this game is trash, right, and then Riot, you know, had to come in, right, you know, Garen's, Darius players, you know, these people who like these type of champions, right, uh, they spend a lot of money, yada, yada, I'm just joking, but uh, they decided that this was definitely needed for the game so that you know that player base continues to stay and i definitely think it's a good addition in the long run but you know how it started out let's see right so pretty much the same thing you deal uh except that when you receive damage you ended up generating one stack every second for the next three seconds so pretty much how uh, something like Rift Maker works, right? As long as you're in combat for three seconds. Then after reaching four stacks, so it's four seconds, which is one stack every second for the next three seconds. Uh, I don't know. Dealing, whatever. After reaching four stacks, your next basic attack within three seconds. So you must proc it against an enemy champion. Grants 10 to 35 based on level bonus attack damage for three seconds. And converts 20% of your damage to champions to true damage for the duration. Right? So if we look at it back then, uh, it had a type of, you know, a timed mechanic where you need to be fighting for a little bit. Uh, you need to, like, actually be in combat for a certain amount of time right you can't instantly proc it if you are a champion that was able to right if you if you had the ability to uh, do 6 to 12 instances of damage extremely quickly as you know which is possible now in order to insta proc it that was not uh of, you know that was not available and then you needed to basic attack the enemy champion in order to proc this and then you ended up getting all of the things right and it also didn't heal you but it converted 20 percent of your damage it doesn't stay post mitigation damage either so it's just in total damage to true damage and we know how true damage messes up the game right but if you were melee dealing or receiving damage refresh the duration of this keystone and you know pretty cool right so very different from what it is today and after you know being nerfed a little bit uh after an entire season it ended up being changed to be a little bit more well-rounded i believe this is when gwen was released and so she was being a fighter uh you know her being a fighter she needed a keystone and you know so they ended up doing some cool things and also some other champions right F ap fighter champions are usually left in the you know in the river they're left to drown but over here they got a little bit of a boof right so they ended up uh splitting they ended up having the scaling but raising the overall scaling uh and adding an ap modifier right this is when they introduced adaptive into the game uh, because i believe they ended up changing some other thing with, with with some other stuff or maybe this was earlier uh doesn't matter not really uh but uh pretty much the same thing still stacks up to five times now now i need it a little bit longer this is pretty much what rift maker is right you stack up to five times and then uh yeah right and then 10 percent of your bad uh, your uh, damage was converted to true damage and now they added the heal 
right? And that you heal for the, the true damage that you dealt, which is really cool, right? This is, is exactly what uh, Riftmaker uh, did when they ended up adding the the legendary or the, the mythic variant of Riftmaker. And it, it's what it is today. Obviously, it doesn't give you true damage and stuff like that, right? And then the buffs refresh upon dealing damage to enemy champions with attack or abilities. And melee's champion stack duration is increased to 8 seconds, right? So they have a little bit more time to play. But you get 3 seconds and yada, 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 right? So this was a pretty cool. Obviously, still has the true damage and now you heal for it. So uh, champions that deal massive true damage or that can deal like massive damage up front uh, and, and just play around with that. Obviously, healed for a large amount and stuff, right? But we're not here to talk about that. A couple more nerfs, a couple more balance changes and, you know, bug fixes and all that. And then we get another thing where they removed the true damage. Uh, but increased the healing, uh, increased the maximum stacks, and just overall changed the, you know, the amount of, of full AD and AP you can end up getting, while also reducing it based on range, I believe, and some stuff like that. So this one, this variation, uh, going into season ten, is more of what we see today, and then you know more changes, right? More, uh, more updates the next season or or like mid season ten more change or like more more bug not bug fixes more like balance changes right uh keeps going keeps going keeps going and then we go to the last time it was touched which was pretty much pre-season 14 where uh, they just changed the numbers a little bit into what they are today right uh so now let's let's see exactly what it is today and i think it actually is a little wrong or somebody got their math wrong but because it says over here oh actually no yeah it is what it is today okay yeah 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 my bad that's like 15 seconds gone okay so conquer still in the precision tree still the keystone and we go so passive dealing damage to an enemy champion grants stacks of conquer lasting for five seconds uh, refreshing on subsequent damage against champions and stacking up to 12 times you gain two if you're melee, one if your range stacks from basic attacks, and everybody gains two stacks from abilities, spells, and items active, right? Uh, abilities that hit multiple champions does not give multiple stacks, I believe. We will go and test that, right? And then uh, spells, I don't know what that necessarily means. Uh, we can uh, hover over it real quick. Oh, summoner spells. So something like Ignite can not only refresh your... Uh, your conquer but it ends up giving you the two stacks because it is uh, counted as it says right here it gives you two stacks right something like i believe exhaust does not and there's nothing else besides mark but that's specific to aram and then there's obviously other game modes which give you other stuff right but for conqueror specifically for summoner's rift which is what we will be talking about ignite ends up giving you two stacks which is something that we always see if you uh you know watch any garen players they do talk Right where they take short trades, uh, they wait till you know their cooldowns are a little low and their conquer stacks are about to uh, uh, go uh, or fade away. But then the enemy champion missteps a little too close, they ignite them, conquer. You know they get the two stacks, uh, it refreshes, and then they can full out fight them because uh, their conquer stacks are you know pretty much uh, almost full and stuff like that, and it gives them an advantage and things like that. And then item actives where there's not too many item actives the one that comes to mind is like uh mostly the tmat items and then there's i don't know if eclipse works uh i also do know that like proto belt gives you which isn't very you know amazing because there's not that many champions that not only take proto belt but that also you know end up taking conqueror but items like Leandries and Blackfire Torch and damage over time items do not add any any of the such, right? It has to be item actives in order to help you, which is pretty cool, right? So now, after we learn about the stacking mechanic, each stack of crank, uh, Conqueror grants you a certain amount of bonus attack damage and a certain amount of bonus ability power up to 12.9, pretty much 13 to 29 bonus AD or 22 to 48 bonus AP and that maximum stacks at which you also heal uh, for 8% if you're melee or 5% of your ranged 
uh, of the post mitigation damage dealt against enemy champions and then damage over time affects and ongoing sources of damage grant stacks only once every five seconds which means you need to reapply reapply leandries in order to have conquer continuously like uh you know uh right it, it can't go on forever if you just have leandries on someone uh, or it won't continue to refresh if you just have uh, Leandros on someone and they're able to walk away, right? You might be able, you might get blessed and like the, the time in which, uh, you know, hit refreshes while uh, Conquer is, you know, getting low on its duration, right? Uh, maybe it's down to two seconds and then the timer of your Leandros or something ends up, or red buff even, ends up refreshing and boom, it goes right back and some cool stuff like that, right? So... Let's go into the champions that end up wanting Conquer, right? As you can see here, there's an infinite amount of champions. This is legitimately half the roster. I believe there is, if not 160, then, you know, closer to 170. And so this is a keystone that, you know, pretty much anybody can take. If you want damage, uh, this is it, right? Because even if we just look at the precision tree in general, it's very, like, you can cater to any champion that wants to deal damage, right? You need mana. Hey, we got mana right here, right? Or you're a mage. Hey, we got you with some mana right here. Oh, look, you don't have to take attack speed or, or lifesteal, which only benefit, you know, fighters, right? Or champions that like to basic attack. We give you haste as well, which is, you know, kind of ridiculous to think about it, right? Where precision tree pretty much goes for any champion that wants to deal damage, which is cool, but also not so cool in some regards right and then uh, obviously you can take any of these which just grant you damage in certain occasions and stuff like that right uh there's some notes here maybe good to uh think about right because uh, abilities that apply on hit effects multiple times uh are special cased to grant a stack of conquer for each tick of damage instead of once per cast so that's pretty cool uh and then item effects that are not castable uh, yes, we, we know that, uh, and then, uh, blah, 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 so not too much, okay, we didn't miss too much there, <laughs> right, so even somebody like Seraphine would end up benefiting from that, uh, and stuff like that, right, obviously, you have the, the champions with the highest pick rate, because there's nothing better, right, some champion, like, Samira, you know, you don't benefit out of mostly anything besides raw damage, and then because you have really good, like, scalings, and you have an easy time stacking up conquer it makes it better than getting something like electrocute or you know anything of that sort right <laughs> and so you have a wide variety and something that they change that each of these champions share is not only the ability to stack it but the ability to want to continuously fight right the ability to you know want that extra damage and be able to use it and also that a lot of these champions uh, might end up changing because we have a, a little old keystone being reintroduced in the name of lethal tempo and so you know while right now it's 85 champions a couple of these champions you might not see them here anymore because uh, that keystone might just take over right somebody like zaya is going to switch back but that simply because it's an attack speed keystone does that mean that somebody like nyla will probably not uh, and then, you know, somebody like Draven, who was an old user of Lethal Tempo, uh, we will speak on this a little bit more when I make the Lethal Tempo video, which is coming out tomorrow, Draven might not also go back to Lethal Tempo for specific uh, reasons, uh, but also maybe, right, it becomes a real big toss-up and stuff like that, right, maybe uh, somebody like Zinzal does, uh, maybe like somebody like... Uh, uh, Warwick goes back to Lethal Tempo. Maybe somebody, uh, probably not like you, but it depends on Warwick. I don't know Warwick's numbers and stuff like that. Uh, maybe somebody like Bell Beth goes back to Lethal Tempo and things of that nature because of, of how Lethal Tempo, uh, as from what I've seen, uh, is better for the early game. And then it really just depends, right? So, you know, you have a wide variety of these champions, pretty much champions that uh, even some burst champions, as you see, somebody like Evelyn who. Uh, doesn't really have like anything that necessarily makes sense right obviously she loves getting more a ap because she has very big like ap ratios but for an assassin champion does it make sense to get conqueror uh, not really right because outside of her initial burst once she uses like her ultimate 
you know, she pretty much should not be able to fight as well as she once did. But she's like a very special champion who has like healing in her kit, who also whose initial burst without her ultimate is extremely high. And so you can set up, you know, your damage and, and you know, chunk somebody with your, with your Q and your E and your W and stuff like that. And then, you know, save your ultimate uh, and then, you know, use your ultimate when you have like max conquer stacks dealing a massive amount of damage, right? An extra 20 AP uh, can equal an extra, I don't remember, like I think it's somewhere close to like 300% AP ratio if you have them under the certain threshold which is kind of bonkers no because if you get to somewhere like a uh, level if you do that like level seven level six where you get 30 extra ap uh that can be an extra 90 damage which is kind of ridiculous right and then obviously you have champions like Kled who can stack it extremely quickly with the four quick auto attacks on the W, uh, the double damage on the Q, the double damage on the E, right? And then you, you want to stay in long fights because you have the ability, to, you know, when you get dismounted and, you know, you, you, know, you want to keep fighting to remount and then you have your cooldowns back up. And it's just like really, really cool, really, really nice on the champion, right? And then you also have like... Not necessarily bruisers, but like tank bruisers, right? Champions like Udir and Amumu, who not only have like pretty good damage numbers, but they do benefit off of getting, you know, pr pretty much the AP. That's kind of the only time they use it. Oh, and you know, like Udir is not going to, for Conquer, or I mean for AD Udir, uh, probably a different story. There's probably a, a a different keystone, but maybe it's probably still conquered regardless. But for Amumu, right? You you just kind of deal like percent max health damage. You already deal bonus true damage. Uh, you have a lot like pretty good damage, right? Uh, and then just dealing more damage is always good. It's a good uh you know uh tree for you. Uh, you're pretty much seeing them already and building tanks, so getting something like more damage and stuff it's just always going to be better right as opposed to something like uh aftershock which does give you a little bit of damage but it gives you tankiness which doesn't matter when you're ccing the entire team right you don't need extra tankiness if the enemy team can't hit you because they're cc'd and so you know it just makes more sense to go something like conquer you know deal a little bit more damage uh, and the healing can be good Right? If you end up you know, being able to stack Conquer, then you get a pretty big ult off. You can heal for 8% uh, of the post-mitigation damage, which can be a lot. Right, Your ultimate can end up dealing somewhere around like 1k damage in a team fight. Heal for 8% of that, you know, an extra 80 HP. Right? Not bad. Um, because Aftershock isn't going to give you anything. <laughs> uh, but obviously, you know, whatever. It's, you know, that's just something to talk about. Uh, and so... Right. The biggest thing I, I pretty much want to say is that like the only thing that's going to make Conquer lose users is going to be Lethal Temple and that it's just going to be better. Like on all its users uh, with damage being lowered, does any one of these champions, you know, make it want or does it look like any of these champions would want to switch from that? Probably not. The only thing that will make them switch is something that's going to help them in different ways which, like I said, is going to be Lethal Tempo. Uh, but another thing, right, will we have new users? Or or will, what, will, yeah, yeah, will we have new users, right? Will we get more mages here, right? Somebody like Orianna, somebody like, like Syndra, which probably will end up going first strike, but somebody like Orianna, uh, if you end up going a more supportive build, right, where you want to get more value out of your shield, uh, do you end up going Conqueror so that you get more value out of your shield? Instead of going something like First Strike and going a full burst build so that you deal as much damage and you can keep on going with the burst, right? So there's there's ways that you can play different champions uh, if we, you know, look at the roster. Let's go specifically into the mid lane. Like somebody like Anivia might end up wanting to go uh, conquer as well instead of going you know and going a more bruisery build right with something like rod of ages and things of that nature right or, or something like uh 
you know, and, and then you you have the uh, the opportunity to also go something like uh, for strike uh, if you want to go the burst build because for strike will give you you know the true damage and then give you gold which allows you to get more bursts and forms of of items right and, and get back to those numbers right. I this is uh, one of the things where I definitely believe that uh, I forgot who I wanted to pick. I think I'll just pick the theory, but I definitely do believe that. Uh, these are like a conqueror and, and whatever else conquer and first strike are going to be the two strongest like keystones in the game or that people that most champions will gravitate towards that should gravitate towards and then there's obviously grasp which is going to be very very strong because now he, now health is going to be uh, a little bit more important right and uh, it's going to have a little bit more value at the very least and stuff like that right so mm, you know only active items right i guess we can test that for uh just for uh you know uh, properties right uh, we can also test something like eclipse right we can test something anything else that deals damage uh sunder sky see if that gives you anything right uh right let's go to enemy dummy right here's the the active items working boom as you can see two conquer stacks gives me another two conquer stacks pretty cool right let me go e this i got four conquer stacks which i believe uh, was because of i don't know if it's my dogs this might not be very good I think it's because my dogs, not because of Eclipse, right? Yeah, it's because of my dogs. So Eclipse and Sunder Sky don't do anything, right? We could test out uh, Sheen Item. Sheen Item does nothing, right? Uh, more active items. There's like no active items in the game anymore that actually uh, give you stuff. Mm, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I guess you could test redemption, right? I mean, who's taking redemption? But we could test it. Redemption does give you conquer stacks, okay? Uh, and I'm pretty sure that's that's pretty much it, right? Those are the only active items in the game. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, like I said, not too much uh, testing uh, needed to be done, right? Uh, we it tells you already, and so you know, conquer giving you a damage, right? If if we're looking at mages right and we're looking at like 10 damage being lost here 10 damage or 10 ap being lost here uh and you know you were a mage that ended up taking something like arcane comet uh because you know helped you in the lane laning phase i definitely do think is going to still be as important because the epic items were not changed base damages were not changed the base stats were not increased base health was not increased right it's just the value you get from pretty much completing items a couple of the basic and epic items were like nerfed i do believe uh something like like uh what's this thing called a uh, negatron cloak was reduced by 10 mr and so you know anything that builds out of this isn't going to be like as like kind of good to build into because you're getting a little bit less value from one of its main components uh, but something like uh, seeker's arm guard wasn't touched you know lost chapter wasn't touched Right, but once you end up getting, I don't remember, I, I know that uh, Archangel Staff got hit, right? So once you end up getting Archangel Staff, you know, you end up having less AP, right? But then, you know, so something like Arcane Comet, while is obviously going to be really good in lane, because, you know, you're going to, especially you go something like Arcane Comet, like this is what we see with Orianna, right? Some, uh, Orianna, she goes like Arcane Comet and Scorch right uh she goes arcane comet scorch and she goes super poke build right she goes like w max and things like that and obviously that can still be super strong if you end up going you know something like you know uh ludens into storm surge into whatever else right uh you know we can talk about what what's the best after that right probably leandry is gonna be the best uh, and then maybe death cap fourth but then probably void staff and then death cap probably might not even be bought in games uh until like very very late 
because they just don't give as much damage. There's probably like calculations that need to happen, right? Uh, so yeah, so, you know, if you want to go a full poke build, that can be good. But obviously, uh, now you're trading a little bit more damage with something like Comet, uh, when you can end up going something like First Strike, right? And then each of your individual things, right? I should probably save this. Uh, but but this goes into my topic of, of Conqueror, right? Uh, that's for the burst build. But if you're going to go something a little bit less bursty and maybe you end up going something a little bit more, you know, uh, sustained fight because that's how the team comps end up coming out and you end up going something like a Blackfire Torch, which ends up giving you up to like 20% AP if you end up hitting each individual enemy champion and you can also hit epic monsters so if you know you're fighting around dragon or baron you can end up getting just a free four percent ap right getting something like conquer might end up being better because it ends up increasing your individual damage uh, and your individual utility by giving you a more ap which then synergizes with uh, black fire torch which then enables you because you're going to get you know, as much AP or even higher AP than before because, you know, nobody was thinking about this because, uh, you know, the game as of right now is all about burst. Then it enables you to get a uh, death cap, which obviously would have been better before, uh, but uh, before it wasn't, you know, as necessary to do this entire thing to make a uh, death cap seem worth it. Uh, but now it is right. And so getting something like Black Fire Torch and uh, Conqueror giving you more AP means that, you know, death cap is good right it's, it's fine right and then you can go other items like uh cosmic or you just go double double mana items or something or you go uh, leandries even right so you have more uh damage over time and, and stuff like that right if fights are, are are looking like you know there's top lane set there's like wukong jungle then there's like a silas mid lane right they have uh, uh you know a jinx lulu and stuff and you need the fights to go a little bit longer uh or the fights are just forced to go a little bit longer right because they have a lot of healing because they have a lot of hp and because they end up building items or just items in general uh, don't end up you know having as much damage and so you get rewarded for building items that are going to give you a little bit more more damage over time instead of giving you like super burst right uh, let's just say that becomes a thing and so I definitely do think that Conquer is going to be a little bit better in that regard, right? As opposed to somebody like Syndra, who, uh, you know, you're probably not going to go Conquer because if you're playing Syndra, you might just be going Burst Syndra, right? And there's probably the same type of build you can go, right, with Blackfire Torch into Leandries into Death Cap or something, right, with Conqueror. I just think that can be... Probably like another build for half of the roster, uh, right? Uh, you're probably not going to build that on uh, Akali. But if we look at somebody like Aurelian Soul, maybe this just becomes the new go-to keystone for Aurelian Soul. Because, you know, right now you end up going something like uh, Arcane Comet, which obviously Aurelian Soul gets a lot of utility out of because he has like refreshing damage which ends up like lowering the cooldown from arcane comet a lot which he's one of the champions that pretty much abuses this which is pretty cool uh but obviously you, know, you have the choice to go something else and uh maybe the ap is just going to matter a little bit more for somebody like Aurelian soul since the ap from items is getting lowered especially his main items i don't exactly remember if leandry is getting hit too much i believe it's losing 10 ap but then also realize is losing 15 ap and you know a couple i don't remember i think the changes pretty much are forcing him to go a mana item and so you know stuff like that maybe he just ends up you know chilling on a tier right and then he's losing a good amount of ap and so like 25 ap is, is 400 gold right obviously you can supplement that with getting a you know or with, with taking first strike right you can end up getting somewhere near 400 gold around 10 to 20 minutes and so you're really you're pretty much right back where you used to be uh, and, and things like that right but conquer can end up being good i'm not necessarily an aso player but you know i'm just spitballing here and thinking of stuff right and like i said somewhere like anivia uh in games right versus yasuo yone who might become op in the next uh, season in the mid lane you know you're a great champion versus them and so you you know 
and versus a lot of like melee champions you're amazing and so you not only do you have like an amazing kit versus them but then you know the extra damage is going to be really good you're another champion that, that can abuse arcane comments stuff like that but but yeah this is just my thought process right you get a lot of you pretty much get a anywhere from an amp tome to a blasting wand i don't know if they're changing blasting wand which can be very strong right or double amp tome stuff like that uh and then you also get healing so if you're a champion that ends up building any type of hp which you know one of the biggest items in the game for mages specifically or for ap champions in general will end up being uh leandries this item will just become pretty much needed because it's going to single hand single-handedly become the strongest damage item for like ap champions if you don't have this item you're probably not going to deal as much damage unless you have the ability to build like ludens and um uh, and this thing right ludens and storm surge uh but then again right versus specific champions that might not even be good because you know you know shields heals and stuff are just going to be more frequent because there's going to be less taste in the game there's going to be less less a, a little bit of less of everything and so your damage thresholds are going to come a little bit you know more far apart and they're going to become a little bit less which can become a very big difference depending on what champions we end up seeing right and so you know if you need more damage over time guess what gives you the most damage over time conqueror right so that's pretty much it for me uh this was not a long video at all you know like there's just not too much to say conquerors already in the game right this it's not necessarily like not figured out but there's not really too much to figure out about this keystone it's pretty self-explanatory and you know let me know what you think do you believe that this will end up being you know pretty much the same as what it is right there's going to be no new champions maybe some champions that end up taking this will end up going to you know lethal temple because lethal temple just ends up being good or you know maybe nobody who ends up taking uh conqueror will, will go away and nobody new will come or you know you think i'm correct or you've heard somebody else say you know something that um, i'm speaking about which i don't think people are even making content about the new season or speculating about it but given the, the how big the next patch will be i think it's you know you got to speak in advance so people start thinking about it because the more people start thinking about it the the quicker we come to conclusions and then the quicker other people who uh, want to combat them can think about you know how how to form their uh, their arguments right because then the game evolves and becomes better and better and then you know uh, not only does that help us like play the game but that helps riot figure out how to make the game better for us right because then blah 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 right x x x x x it just falls into stone and stuff like that so like i said thank you for watching have a great day uh <laughs> if you were expecting a lot longer sorry if you weren't good for you right because now this one's very quick all right peace catch you on the next one